Hi guys, this is Jenna with Resort TV One, and today we're checking out the Contemporary Resort. I hope you enjoy the video. The Contemporary Resort was actually open when Walt Disney World opened in 1971. Um, it was the Contemporary and the Polynesian. Those were the two resorts that were available when Walt Disney World opened in 1971. The Contemporary Resort also has a convention center, and it opened in 1991. And here's a view of the walkway leading up to the entrance to the resort. They have some beautiful flowers as you walk up to the resort, even with a Mickey. There's a parking lot very close to the main building, so it's easy to get in to the resort. And here's the entrance to the resort. Here's a really cool rug that shows that the monorail goes through the contemporary. And then you walk through the front doors and into the lobby. Very um, modern design in here, of course, since it is the contemporary resort. Here's the doors that lead to the convention center. And then they also have a little coffee shop here. I think it's Joffrey's Coffee called Contemporary Grounds. And as you're walking in, the door to the left leads out to the bus station. Here's a better view of the walkway to the bus station. And then this is the view you would have after coming home um, from one of the parks after you got off the bus. And here's more of the lobby. Again, they have a really contemporary, modern design to it. They have some nice couches and chairs where you can sit and relax while you're waiting on your room to be ready or just to sit down and cool off from being outside. Here's the check-in desk. And then as you walk around to the right side, um, you will find the elevators that take you up to the different restaurants and also to your rooms. Here's one of the sit-down restaurants they have available here at the Contemporary. This is called The Wave. You can come here for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They actually have a buffet breakfast here for $21.99. And then for um, dinner options, they have fish and steak and different things like that. This is a view of the bar lounge area um, where you can wait for your table. And here's some escalators that you can take up to the restaurants and the shops and also to the convention centers. And here's the doors that lead out to the other buildings where they also have rooms and then also to the pool. And here's the walkway out to the two pools that they have. And then also this will take you out to the boat dock where you can rent different kinds of boats. Here's a view of one of the other buildings that also have rooms available. And here's a little water area for the kids to play at. And you can also see some of the slide that's at one of the pools. This is a really good photo op. I know a lot of people like to sit in the ears. It makes for a really good, fun photo. And here's another fun photo op with a topiary Mickey. 
Here's the walkway that you can take from the main contemporary building over to Bay Lake Tower, which we will see in just a bit. Bay Lake Tower is part of the Disney Vacation Club and it opened in 2009 and it is 15 stories high. This is the main pool here at the Contemporary and it also has a slide, which is really cool. Here's a quick service little restaurant called the Sandbar where you can get a quick lunch burger or hot dog and they also have some ice cream and different things like that available. Here's a good view of the water and then also the smaller pool, the quieter pool that they have at the Contemporary. And here's the dock where you can take the boats that you rent out for a spin. These are some of the boats that you can rent. They have pontoons and little small um, water boats that fit two people. They're a lot of fun to drive around. They also have fishing excursions available here which sounds like a lot of fun. Here's the window where you go and rent your boats. You can also go water skiing and parasailing here as well. Now we're heading back inside and up the escalator. This is the way to the different ballrooms that they have here. And then they also have a check-in desk over here for California Grill, which is the expensive restaurant up on the very top floor of the Contemporary Resort. We didn't get to go up to the California Grill today because they didn't open until four and we were there quite a bit earlier than that. This is one of the hallways that you take to get to the ballrooms. And this is the hallway on the other side to get to some more ballrooms. This door also leads out to the pools. You just have to go down some stairs from here. And then when you head up these escalators, these will take you up to some more restaurants and some shops. The first thing you see when you get up the escalator is one of the really neat shops they have and then a really pretty view that they have. This is a better look of the view once you get up the escalator. You can see the really cool lake and maybe some boats driving around out here. Another cool thing when you get up the escalator is this mosaic. This mosaic is done by Mary Blair, who also designed um, some of the characters, the designs for the characters in It's a Small World. I really like this floor of the contemporary. It's really open and really bright with all of the windows and just really neat to go and check out. Here's Chef Mickey's, which is a really popular sit-down restaurant. They have a buffet and it is actually open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you also get to meet Mickey, and I think Minnie's there as well. They have a little lounge bar over here in the corner. And then over to the right, they have a quick service restaurant called the Contempo Cafe. And I actually did a review on this one, so definitely check out that video. And here's one of the stores that they have here in the Contemporary. They have a lot of the same merchandise that you'll see at the resorts. 
um, at the theme parks, um, but they also have some contemporary merchandise as well, which is really cool. And then over here to the right, they have some candy options too. So if you need a late night snack while you're staying there, they have that available. They have lots of different clothes and accessories here. And this is a really good sized shop, so you have a lot of things to see and, and buy here while you're here at the Contemporary. Here's another mosaic by Mary Blair. And it goes all the way up to the top of the resort. There are restrooms back in this area, and then this is also where you'd go to get on the monorail to go to the different resorts or to the Magic Kingdom. This is the Fantasia store here at the Contemporary. This is more of the store for the kids. Um, there's lots of Star Wars merchandise, there's Pirates merchandise, and then a lot of different um, stuffed animals and coloring books and toys. This is another view of the store that we were in earlier, and this is another entrance to that store. Here's the Fantasia Market, and this is right next to the Fantasia Kids Store that we were just in. And this one has a lot of different food items, maybe things that you might have forgotten. They also have an arcade here. This one's called the Game Station. And here's the door over in the corner next to all the shops. This is the door where you would take um, to the walkway over to Bay Lake Tower. And they also have a nice little balcony here where you can get a good view of the castle in different parts of the Magic Kingdom. Here's a closer look of the castle. And then you can also see Space Mountain and some of Tomorrowland from here. Here's a better view of the Bay Lake Tower, the Vacation Club Resort. They have some rooms here with floor to ceiling windows, which would be very cool to watch the fireworks from. And now we're going to take the walkway over to Bay Lake Tower. You have a really pretty view of the lake as you go across the walkway. And as you can see, it looks like there's a storm about to roll in. And here's a better view of the parking lot. And then also it's really fun to stand here and watch some of the monorails go by. And now we're walking into Bay Lake Tower. And here's the elevators that you would take to your rooms or down to the lobby. Hi. 
there was a really neat view of the Bay Lake Tower pool from up here. We took the elevator down for a better view of the pool and everything outside. They have a little bocce ball court here. And here's a nice view of the back of Bay Lake Tower. A nice little water fountain here. They had some cool bamboo on the walkway out to the pool. And here's the pool at Bay Lake Tower. They have a nice sized pool with a really neat looking slide. Another view of the walkway out to the pool. And now we're walking into the lobby of Bay Lake Tower. Again, this has another modern feel to it, just like the Contemporaries lobby. I love all the windows in here. It gives it a really nice, bright feeling when you're inside. Here's the front door to Bay Lake Tower. And then here's the walkway that you can take back over to the Contemporary. We're back in the Contemporary now and we're on the platform for the monorail station to take it back over to the TTC, the Transportation and Ticket Center, where we parked. And they have a really nice view up here. You can see the different hotels while you're up there and also parts of Magic Kingdom. And here's a monorail now. It was just leaving when we got to the station. Here comes another monorail. However, this is the monorail for the Magic Kingdom, the Magic Kingdom Express monorail, so it just goes through the contemporary, no stopping for resort guests. But they're still fun to watch as you're waiting on your monorail. There's really also a nice view of the rest of contemporary as you're standing here waiting on the monorail. You can see more of the doors that go to the rooms. There are 383 rooms in this main building of the Contemporary Resort. And then there's also really cool views of the mosaics again here on the monorail platform. And here comes our monorail. Gotta wait for the people to get off before we can board. My family has stayed at the Contemporary Resort one time, and I really recommend staying here if you do have the money for this one. It is one of the more um, expensive resorts they have here at Walt Disney World, but it is definitely worth it. Um, if you can stay on the Magic, the Magic Kingdom side, um, then you can watch the fireworks from your balcony, which is a really cool experience. Um, you can't hear the music, but you can still see the fireworks. And then one of my favorite parts of staying here was keeping the blinds open all night and then you can see the castle in Space Mountain from your bed which is really cool. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower. Please leave a comment and like the video and keep coming back for more videos. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye bye.
Yes.